Hello everybody and a warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, my name is Miranda Holder. I'm a celebrity stylist and your feel-good fashion coach. And today we're going to talk all about the Apple body shape. You want to be careful so it doesn't get hooked over one boob. I'll talk about that uh, in another video as well. I've been there, done that. Before we jump right in, I'd just like to say thank you so much for all of your lovely comments. I've really enjoyed reading every single one of them. Um, please keep them coming. It's just so lovely to hear about your personal journeys with style, fashion, body shape, um, and so lovely to hear that these videos are helpful to you guys as well. I've had a few requests. I am making a note of them, and I will be producing some extra content for you all very, very soon. So today we're going to talk about what makes you an apple shape. I'm going to share some general styling considerations and guidelines as well as a couple of tips to make the most of your figure and finally and really importantly I'm going to share the most common mistake that I see apple shapes making when it comes to dressing so the apple body shape you may have watched my previous body shape video where I give an overview of all of the other body shapes with some general characteristics and some styling guidelines to bear in mind. I thought that Apple deserved its own little video simply because so many of my clients worry about their stomach. Um, and I know many of us start off in life not being an Apple shape, but it's quite incredible how many of us end up being one or partly one. So this can actually apply to a lot of you even if you aren't technically fully apple um, there's still some takeaways in it and it is the one thing I get requested the most across all my social media so here is a little video just for you so what is an apple shape well, hopefully you've seen my previous video, which explains three different ways, which are pretty foolproof in terms of how to work out which your body shape is. An apple shape has a midsection, a waist, and sometimes a bust that is larger in circumference than their shoulders and their hips. Um, and I'm not just talking about a little um, belly that you might get post-menopause. I know many of us do, um, and that is something that I can help you with. But an apple shape really is just thick around the middle. So we're talking this entire middle section. Sometimes the bust will join in with that, which is why it's sometimes referred to as an oval shape. Um, they quite often have big busts, but not necessarily. And you'll find that their back as well is quite broad. Um, so that is an apple shape. Now I must say that you can still be a size six or a size eight and be an apple shape. You can be a size 16 or 26 and be an apple shape. Remember that really this this is about bone structure. So it doesn't matter how much you've eaten, it's literally the way you are made, how far your ribs are away from your hips. There are various things in body composition that will dictate this. So a typical apple shape can have long slender arms, really great long legs, sometimes a bit of a flat bottom. And the styling considerations for the apple shape is to always put back, if you remember, um, you into proportion and into that beautiful hourglass shape. So what we need to do is define your middle, which happens to be your thickest part. So we can either nip that in, and there are ways to do that, which I will be sharing in the future. Um, but the first thing and the easiest thing to try is actually to broaden you out either side of your waist. So parts of our body can look bigger or smaller depending on the size of the the body bit next door to it. So if we've got really, really big shoulders, um, our arms are gonna look smaller. It's also how we create an optical illusion. So quite often you'll see models and things, it's quite trendy right now to wear oversized watches. And because that is big and bulky, it actually makes your wrist look smaller than it is. The same goes with styling. So in order to reduce the size, the optical illusion of your waist, we're going to add volume and broaden out shoulders and your hips in order to create that nice figure of eight shape. Now I know this sounds or feels probably very counterintuitive, but trust me, you will look more in proportion, slimmer, and just much better, generally speaking, as a result of this. So it is what we want to do. 
We also want to create as much length in the torso as we possibly can. This helps to streamline and elongate your shape and helps to skim the eye over the whole of the silhouette, which is what we want to do. We're also going to draw attention to other parts of the body. So perhaps your decolletage, maybe uh, your feet, your legs, whatever that is. So it's about drawing the eye away from the bits that you don't want the attention. But it's also about focusing on the parts that you really like as well. And if you've watched my previous videos, then you will know that I've asked you this already to start thinking about your favorite body bits and just changing your mentality. So when you're getting ready in the morning and outfit building, you start thinking about which bits you want to show off, which bits you feel good about and which bits you're going to accentuate rather than focusing on the bits that make you feel rubbish. And that's only going to make you feel worse if you go down that route. So we're going to have a bit of a mindset flip through this whole process. So I'll do another much longer video on this, but just a couple of general styling tips to get you started. Use colour wisely. So generally speaking, the brighter and the lighter the colour is, the larger and closer the part of the body wearing it is going to appear. And then the other way around. So if you wear something very dark or muted, that body part is going to appear smaller. Now I'm not advocating that you wear head to toe black. It can look very chic, um, but also you can kind of hide away in there. And it's such a shame not to dip into colour because it's such a beautiful um, world to experiment in and it really lifts your complexion it can bring out your eyes, it can make you look 10 years younger. I do a lot of colour analysis and I'm quite passionate about this and I will come back to it. But what I mean in terms of apple shape is you can play with colour blocking and using lighter and brighter or darker and more muted shades together to make your body appear differently and put it back into proportion. So an apple shade might find a dress or put an outfit together that has a darker section around their middle and lighter and brighter section on the arms, the decolletage for example, and the legs. And that way it will just visually knock your stomach back, so to speak, and make it look smaller than it is. So that's a really great thing. And you can look out for dresses and tops um, that do have this colour blocking effect the darker panel in the middle. It's a great idea. The other thing you can do with colour is go for a monotone outfit and that means wearing the same colour or, or tonal shades of the same colour from head to toe. This is not only very very elegant and look very expensive, in fact it's a favourite style trick of the lovely Kate Middleton or Duchess of Cambridge and she uses it to look very expensive, very sophisticated, but it really helps to elongate your frame, which is what we're doing. We're putting you on virtual, virtual stretchers and making you look taller and slimmer. It's going to really help to flatten that midsection. So think about doing that. And then finally, and there are loads more tips coming on this in a separate video, think about long vertical lines here because it breaks up this square or rectangle or oval, whatever you've got going on. So particularly if you have a large bust as well, if you wear a long necklace, perhaps something that finishes just below your bust line um, or just in between, you want to be careful so it doesn't get hooked over one boob. <laughs> I'll talk about that uh, in another video as well. I've been there, done that, but you have to have, sit it, have it sitting nicely in the middle. But that vertical line is gonna really help to break up this area um, and very, very simply make you look more in proportion. Now the most common styling mistake I see with apples is because of their beautiful legs. They've usually got fabulous slender legs. So you've probably been taking my advice and you're, you're showing them off and why shouldn't you? They're amazing. So you've probably been wearing skinny jeans or leggings or even a mini skirt and that's fantastic. Um, however, you need to be careful with what you're wearing on the top. So if you're going to just go for a classic sloppy Joe, for the sake of argument, big sloppy sweater um, to maybe hide and, and, and disguise your tummy or an oversized shirt or a tunic top, something like that um, with some leggings or skinny jeans or a mini skirt on the bottom. If we go back to what I said earlier in the video about um, adding volume to certain areas will make the neighbouring areas look smaller, well it works in the other way as well. So if you've accentuated how lovely and skinny your amazing legs are and you've got sort of a blocky squarish uh, top or outfit on the top half, you're actually only going to make yourself look even rounder 
than you are already. So it's not flattering. So what you would do in that situation is either go for some volume on the bottom half, which again, I know feels counterintuitive, but it would balance you out. So we could talk about a straight leg trouser, a wide leg trouser, or a flared pant, love a flare. They really help to balance out your boobs as well. It's a win-win. Or, and or, we look at breaking up this top section, which is a whole other video, and I am gonna do a really deep dive into dressing a larger tummy. Um, so do stay tuned for that. So that's the Apple Body Shape covered for today. A bit of an introduction, lots more to come. Thank you again for all your comments. Thank you for subscribing, hitting that notifications bell so you never miss another video. And all your likes, every bit of engagement helps me bring more content like this to you. So thank you so much and I will see you next time.